Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Today we're going to listen to our third citizenship quiz in honor of Native American Heritage Month. In 2016, we published the first quiz, which focused in on recent Native American history and legislation. In 2017, we posted the second quiz, which focused in on notable Native Americans. This year, we're focusing on the Native Americans that ran in the midterm elections. Let's get started. Seven Gen Leaders is a political action committee that works to elect Native Americans to office. Its name is inspired by the indigenous concept that decisions made in the present impact seven generations in the future. Question. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Question two. Representatives elect Deb Holland and Sharice Davids will be the first Native American women in the U.S. House of Representatives. Question. Name your U.S. representative. Question three. Mark Wayne Mullen and Tom Cole represent Oklahoma in the U.S. House of Representatives. Question. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Question four. Kevin Stitt is the governor-elect of Oklahoma. Question. Who is the governor of your state now? Question 5. Peggy Flanagan is the lieutenant governor-elect of Minnesota. If a state's governor can no longer serve, the lieutenant governor becomes the governor. Question. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Question 6. Todd Rex Gloria was re-elected to represent California's 78th State Assembly District. Question. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Question 7. James C. Ramos former chairman of the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, will be the first California Native American to serve in the state legislature, which meets in the state capitol. Question. What is the capital of your state? Question 8. Diane Humatiwa currently serves as the U.S. Judge of the District of Arizona. Question. What does the judicial branch do? Question 9. The U.S.-Mexico border runs through the O'Odaham homeland, dividing the people into two nationalities. Question. Name one state that borders Mexico. Question 10. Many U.S. Border Patrol agents in the Southwest speak Spanish, but many migrants speak indigenous languages and little or no Spanish. According to the ICE 2015 Language Access Plan, those seeking asylum must be provided with translators so that the applicants will receive due process when they go to immigration court. Question. What is the rule of law? Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. For more information, go to hcn.org 
and IndianCountryToday.com to learn more about Native Americans. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com. Thanks for listening. I know that you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.